It's really some scary shit. I gotta tell you, Harvey Weinstein's probably the first person that I ever looked at a photograph of and was like, yeah, he rapes. I'm not sure this motherfucker has a choice. Not a handsome man. Not a lot of meat and extra skin on his face. Yeah, he's ugly. You know what the sad part is? He's done so well in life, he probably doesn't know he's ugly. You know, when you're good looking, everybody will tell you, oh, you look wonderful, you're so great looking. But when you're ugly, you gotta figure that shit out for yourself. <laughs> it's a lot of putting clues together through the years. Why am I not getting in the club? I got all the right shit on. <laughs> Because if it was Brad Pitt doing that shit, he wouldn't hurt a peep. The girl would just come back down like, I got the part. <laughs> yeah. And yet, and yet, it is important that I acknowledge, ladies, you are absolutely right. There you go. And you gotta all be mindful of that guys because uh this could happen to any of us it could happen to me i can see that i see myself showing up hi i'm here for my 3 a.m with mr weinstein <laughs> hey harvey i got your text i'm here to talk about the script <laughs> seems like it's gonna be hard to read in candlelight but i guess i could try and... sound like a fucking nightmare. Could you imagine that shit? Could you imagine if he was in a business meeting and a motherfucker pulled their dick out? In the middle of the meeting, I'd be like, yo! Yo, my man, this is the most unprofessional shit I've ever seen in all my days. <clears throat> Just let me finish, Dave Chappelle. I'll put you in all three Lord of the Rings. Hurry up, nigga. I have other meetings to know. <laughs> I have a 4 30 a.m. at Brett Ratner's house. And, uh, <laughs> I believe it's wardrobe fitting. <laughs>